Hello uh, and welcome to my JKD Academy. My name is Sipu George Hajinasa. What I'd like to introduce to you today is JKD uh, borrowing the energy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of techniques. And we're going to show you the, how we're going to think outside the box. We're not only going to go over a couple of movements. The movement's going to be very simple movements. So I'm going to bring the hands. It's two simple blocks we're going to refer to the JKD folks out. The bridging hand. So it's going to be just fork, not Lloyd Jets out. Lloyd Jets out inside jerking hand. They go inward like this where the foot it just kind of rests on the hand or on the actual attack. So we're going to take just the simple folks out, and we're going to think outside the box, and we're going to show you how we take JKD energy, but we apply it to other uh, attacks, so then we make them work for ourselves, and whether it's a, an attack from a shooting position, from a punching position, or from any position. So you're going to see how those two simple techniques could be applied into a whole new world of actually fighting, or whether you want to take it in the ring, or you want to take it on the street we're still going to work the same exact way. So whether we go one for the block, we shoot in, we shoot up, we go down. So we're going to go over all these techniques and we're going to show you how you can actually think outside the box to JKD. So thank you for watching. Stick around. Please don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you for the next lesson. Thank you so much. Motion, right? So what are we going to come on this side so we can see that? Come on this side. The the energy goes in, I borrow the strike, I borrow the strike. So very slight from hands. You can see the hands slip around, same exact motion when I was blocking here like this. So when I go, I strike. So the hand goes inward, strike here. So I kind of smooth it out, so one, two. So I go, I block the inside like two. So I'm not doing this, so I'm doing pumped out. So it's not a pumped out strike, push punch here. It's low job, smooth, one, two, three. So I just borrow the energy here fast. So when you, you can do it from a natural position, right? Okay? Or you could just do it from a by John stance. So I'm gonna two. Okay, so the hand, as soon as the hand moves, this one strikes. Okay? Let's try. So go three. So you got hooks out, comes in around, hangs out. It's not this way, it's really jot here on the sand, but it kind of part of the hook. So the hand, you can notice my forearm almost touches the arm. So same thing, somebody throws a punch, I hook here. So the hooks are here. So I, I make like, you can see the Z lock here, I get the hand. So it looks pretty fancy, but it isn't so long. So right here, I smooth it up fast. Then when you go on the bar, the same exact idea. Okay, so the hands, I want to tra mini trap it here. Okay, when the hand, so this hand goes here. So I pull on the inside, I won't go here, here. Like you, you want to try to keep it as tight as you can. So if somebody's arm, here. Now what I'm going to go over some of the um, actual applications, how to borrow energy in JKD. So we're going to think outside the box. So some of the blocks, instead of going double puck style, which is push. So when he throws a punch at me, I do pucks out. So you can notice I go here, push, he throws the other hand, I do pucks out here. So I'm not gonna do double pucks out, which is pushing hand. So when he comes in, I'm gonna do two here. So I'm gonna borrow the hands inward, inward. So in reality, we call it Lloyd Jets out, inside jerking hand, so he comes in, Lloyd Jot. So what I'm gonna do, when the Lloyd Jot becomes a pucks out, which is here, so he actually do um, uh, sticky hands, and that's where the pucks out comes from, okay? So when, when he comes in with a straight punch, I'm gonna double four, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna think outside the box. So instead of throwing a punch here, two. So instead, a lot of times, what happens, if he throws a punch, pop, pop, right? So that's perfect if he comes on a straight line. But a lot of people, when they throw punches, they're like all over the place. So they're not even thinking about it, so they'll go crazy. You see like here, the, the punch is really haymakers. So when he throws, one, two, right? So you go like this. So throw a straight punch, one, two, right? Really fast. So right to my face, two. So I, instead of trying to catch it here, sometimes you miss. You know, you might hit the fingers. 
So when you come in, so I'm just gonna borrow here too, and the attack will be here, okay? Now we're gonna think outside the box, so one, two, right? So instead of going one here, right? So he comes in again, one, two, here, right? So one more time, so one, two. Now those could be punches as well, so he comes in, two, right? Now, if he comes in with this one, same exact motion here, instead of doing it to the hand, so he comes in, two, it's a wrap. So same exact motion, instead of going to the hand, as the punch comes, if he throws a punch, I grab here. If he throws this hand, I grab here. So this seat could be here, so that's attacking him here, okay? So he throws a punch, one, two, and come around here. Okay, so Matt, you wanna try it for a second? Sure. Okay, so if you throw a jab here, one jab cross here, right? So we got double punch up. So one, two. Now throw punch again. Hook, two. So now step in and do it. Other hand. One, two, right? Now same exact, instead of doing it to his hand, when he comes here, two, I wrap. So it could be a strike, elbow, whatever you want from here. Okay, so one, two, wrap, strike, whatever you want. Understand? So you're thinking outside the box, not strictly for this here. So it comes in one, two, this one wraps. So same exact idea, same exact motion. So instead of doing pucks out here, and that's it, you're limited to this. So I can't do pucks out here, I can't do it as a strike. But I can't, this could be here. So if he throws a punch, one, two, I wrap, I wrap. I could use this actual strike to wrap him in, I could get him into a clinch, and so forth. Okay, so we're gonna take outside the box, then we're gonna take it to the wooden dummy, and we'll show you how it applies on the wooden dummy so you can practice it. So one, two, three, okay, let's give it a shot. Just throw right at his face, don't, don't help him out, just throw right at his face. So, nice, nice. You see the, the transition, the minute you throw the punch, I'm already here, you throw the punch, the hand meets, I meet fast. So one, two, three, the hand goes up, it already wrapped you, I could hit whatever I want. So this is one, I've borrowed the energy, this one moves forward, I hit. So instead of going here, here, double pucks out, and I would have to step and get you here, or I would have to come in and grab you in the clinch. The hand moves one, two, three, or I could go here, two, you come in three punches fast, this hand comes around, I pull him in. So no matter how, one, throw straight punches. One, two, the hand moves fast. Even if he tries to block, I stop him here. He's getting trapped. So the third hand's not gonna come in. I switch here. Okay, so one, two, three. The hand's out of the way. Okay, yep. Okay, let's try it. Come on. Okay, this time I'm gonna show you that, okay, when you throw the punch, for example, right? I go here, he throws another punch here. So all we think is like, I'm gonna go one here, two here, and I'm gonna punch, right? So this is what it's designed for, so two here, right? Now, why not, this, we already learned to do from this same exact position, I go on the outside of his neck. Now, why not flip the outside of the neck and take him up? You see what I'm saying? Now, I use the same exact energy once. I go one, two, three, four. The hand is on the outside, why not twist him and take him down, right? So, so one, two, so this hand goes on, this hand I borrow here and I bring the hand back. Same exact positioning. So whether I do it here, whether I do it here, or I do it here, same exact thing. So don't think you're gonna just use it against the hand as the hand punches, or if he comes in, shoots in, you get him in two. I'm sorry, you know, right? So we go one, two. Believe me, this is a very hard strike. So when you actually hit something like this, here, he's gonna, Feel it, because it's like you're taking the energy, you're coming around, you're snapping. So one, two, three. Once I hit him here, I don't really have to do much clinching. Once I hit him here, I'm gonna vibrate this whole side of his head here, okay? So I'm taking the energy from here, here and here. Now for me to flip him, I move him around, is another section of this here, so I, I tie him up here. So no matter which way he moves, the hand hits, this one flips him over, and this one takes him down. You can use the kick or whatever. 
Okay? So now, if I go one here, two here, same exact thing I wrap on the back. So everything, this whole exact borrowing, so I borrow and I give. So I go one, two, I grab on the outside here, I'm in the back. Right? You see it? So when he throws the punch, two, I shoot down from here, go down to the leg. See, so same exact position. So I go one, two, three, I go here. Right? So I flip from here up. So the same exact motion applies to everything. So you gotta look at it. Don't think. You gotta look outside the box. Think outside the box. So one, two, that's great. One, two, three, works here, great. One, two, three, it works here, great. So one, two, three, works here. Now this one doesn't, this one moves. Okay? You notice I keep away from my center and I keep away from my grill. One, two, three, leg. I put the leg up. Make sense? So now watch. One, two, three, four. So the hand is always moving in any direction. Go to the groin. So it's, you never stop. The energy continues on attacking. So I am always attack when they throw. Throw punch, jab, cross, hook. Same exact direction. Then I open the hand really fast. You can see it. So when I flip from here, I'm gonna move fast. Okay? All right, let's try it. He always tried to make me look bad. <laughs> when, when you were out, uh, you thought of that so bad, right? <laughs> no, I didn't do that. So George, on the, on the, when I'm doing this, right? One, two, down. He's gonna hit me there. Yep. Right. So I grab here and push down, or yep. what, where do I get? Well, whatever hand is the closest to the body. So for example, you do your move, right? So I'm gonna come at you first. I'm gonna come at you. So I'm gonna go here. Two. Now you shoot him with this hand. He grab here. When I go to uppercut, so if, I, if he doesn't see the hand is here, yep. he needs to do something, right? So now why not drop this hand and flick this hand back up? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So this hand could block me. So when he goes one here, one, two, and if I shoot up here, you go to do uppercuts, right? I hit here, I switch to the other side. I do it to him. So I go here, I hit this hand. So if he goes to hit me, see the hand goes up here, I switch to the other side here. He goes here, see that you can still connect here. Once I feel it, here, this hand, I strike. So one, again, so I'm gonna go one here, two here. Once the hand, I'm gonna hit the minute before he does, because I have a better control. If he hits me here, that's fine, but I'm gonna come up right to the face, you know? Yeah, I didn't think we wanted to do a natural trap. Uh, no, you can't, it's, it's very tough to do a natural trap, because if he, he's open here, he could hit me here, but I have him open here. So once I strike up here, now, if I switch here, he goes to hit the other hand. I try my best here to stop him. If I can't stop him, it's tough, to, but I'm going to hit him. He's open. See? Okay. Okay? Let's try. Yeah.